After you've learned what the words deferred and accrued mean in accounting, then it's time to figure out how to organize these words in our head. So I've made this um, document with these pictures in it to try to help you organize and think about this more clearly. So here's what we're going to do. First, when talking about adjusting journal entries, ask yourself, are we making money? And we have a, a happy picture here of making money. Or are we spending money? So we have a picture of pay it here. And then if we're making money, we know it's going to be revenue. It's either accrued revenue or deferred, otherwise known as unearned revenue. If we're spending money, it's going to be an expense. It's either going to be an accrued expense or a prepaid expense. All right, so we're going to keep in our mind, first of all, whether or not we are making money or spending money. Next step, you're going to think about the cash. If you've determined it's revenue because you're making money, then you're going to ask yourself these questions. If you have already received the cash, but you have not done the work, it is unearned or deferred revenue. The opposite of that, if you have not received the cash, but you have done the work, it is accrued revenue. So either way it's re revenue, it's just a matter of whether or not the work's been done and whether or not the cash has changed hands. So take a look at these pictures and let them help you. Here, he's gotten the money, but he has not done the work. Here, he's not gotten the money, but he has done the work. Let's look at the scenario of it being an expense. In other words, we paid out money. If you've already paid the cash, but you haven't used the benefit, it is prepaid expense. So this apple represents insurance coverage that is still there for the next few months or supplies that have not been used up. The opposite of that, if you have not paid the cash but you have used up the benefit, so here the supplies have been used, the insurance coverage has expired, um, the rent has expired, then it is an accrued expense. And another thing to get in our minds is that an easy way to think about the word accrual accrued is that it's not been paid or it's not been received. So they will always have the word payable or receivable in it because that's what's indicating that either the cash needs to be paid or the cash needs to be received. So accrued will always have, for example, accounts receivable or accounts payable in it. Let me know if you have any questions.